This is how we scale strokes and effects proportionally in Adobe Illustrator. So here we have a star with a stroke around it, and the stroke is 20 points wide. So just to show you some examples on the issue we are trying to resolve right here, let's try to scale the star down and see what happens. And as you can tell right here, the stroke around the star is the same width as before we scaled it down. As you can tell from the top of the screen, it is still 20 points wide. The same thing is applying to effects. So here I have a simple line, and let's go to effect and add a zigzag effect on it. So if we now scale this line, we can see that the zigzag effect is simply getting squeezed together instead of scaling proportionally. Fortunately for this, there's a really simple fix. So let's undo this and show you how to solve this issue. So what we want to do is find the transform panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find it right here. Then click this drop down right here. And here we have the option scale strokes and effects. And you simply need to select this option to solve the issue. So let's see what happens if I scale down the star right now. And as you can tell right away, now the stroke is scaling as well. And up here, the stroke is only 4.4 points wide. The same thing will happen if we scale an effect. So once again, let's apply an effect to our line. And now let's scale this line down. And as you can tell, it now scales proportionally. Thank you for watching.